hello lovelies you're welcome back once again i have one and a half yard in here so i fold in half into two so i need to cut this two i need two of this So I've got my one inch elastic. If you want to use any size of elastic you want, but make sure that you add uh, enough allowance to in case your elastic at the end of the day. So let me set this aside and bring in my overlock machine because I'm going to overlock it right around. Set this aside. So this is what we have done so far. So this is it. This is the damp part. We overlocked. And this is the damp part of this other leg. This is the damp part of this other leg. We overlocked it. We overlocked the, the waist. After overlocking the down part, the hem, the down part here, you overlock the waist area and uh, you take one side of the crotch, the front crotch or the back crotch, you match it, you fold it in half, pin right round. This is what we have. So I'll use the overlock now to overlock straight to the to this uh the tip of this crotch area here. So lovely. This is what we have. This is what we have. You just follow the way I am doing it. Super, super easy. This is what we have. If you turn it right side out, this is what you will be having. One leg is ready. You can see that? <laughs> so, the waist area is still open and the crotch area is still open. So, let's do the other leg. So, I will take the other leg. I've also overlocked the waist area, so I will do the same thing that I did. I will pin it and overlock right away. So, lovelies, your girl is done. You turn one is right side out and one is wrong side out. So, I'm taking this one that is right side out. You put it in right here. Right here. So, I'll make sure that the tip of the crotch are matching each other and make sure that your front crotch is at the side of the front crotch and the back like so so you put it right in here like so and match all the same match this same here at the tip of the crotch here the same you match it and pin down I'm done pinning, so we'll go now and sew right round, right round to this other end. I'm done sewing, let me turn it right side out. So guys, this is how our one-piece trouser looks like. Super simple and easy. 
the next thing remaining now is to encase our elastic note that you can use other materials to make this it's just a one piece trouser it's not that tight and it's not that loose what you would do is to fold in you fold in here with the allowance that you gave you fold it in and sew right around and you leave where you will in case you are where you pass your elastic through you leave like two inches and pass your elastic through it that's just what the next thing to do you pass your elastic through it and you close back the opening that you made for the damp part i will fold in this damp part with whichever hemming allowance that you gave you fold it in like so fold it in and sew down and your one piece trouser is what ready your one piece trouser is ready to be worn so lovely people our one piece trouser is fast. I mean, look at it look like a leggings but it's not really a leggings it's free it's not that tight like a leggings so it's free comfortable it's not also that wide and it's not that tight so it's very very nice so i've gone ahead to encase my elastic so i use the formula i usually use to cut my elastic which is uh the circumference of your waist if your waist is 34 or 33 33 uh times 0 0.7 or you do it 0 0.8 if you want it a little bit loose you use 0 0.8 if you want it very tight you use 0 0.7 so i use 0 0.7 to cut my elastic then you know you have to sew the both ends together so i did that twin needle to run this two line here that i did you use your twin needle to run the two line if you don't have you just do it one after the other you run the first line just to beautify it a little bit